Right, this is a diagram of a Torness power station and on the CW side the cooling water is brought in from the sea through uh, drum screen filters. It then goes through uh, four main CW pumps which send the seawater up to the condenser in the, uh, in the turbine area and then it returns back to the sea on the far side of the station at the cooling water outfall. I met Torness Power Station on the east coast of Scotland. I'd like to introduce you to Robert Dick, who's systems engineer here at Torness. Robert, could you just explain a little bit about what we're actually seeing here? Uh, we are at uh, the cooling water forebay, where the sea, the North Sea, meets Torness Power Station. Behind us are our drum screens and these drum screens filter out any seaborne debris before the cooling water is then supplied to our cooling water pumps which are next door. This is one of uh, our cooling water pumps. We have four of them here at Turness. Uh, at least three operating at all times. Each pump is capable of delivering around about 11 cubic metres of seawater every second. Each pump is powered by an 11 kilovolt motor uh, with a power output of around about 1.5 megawatts. This is the discharge side of the cooling water pump. It is a pipe that's around about 2.4 metres in diameter and this pipe conveys the cooling water to the various cooling systems within the power station. <laughs> 